Not many things. You just have to be a ninja. Hi, my name is Maria, and I work as a user researcher on Top11. We are Vox Populi of users that play our games. To put it this way, there's like millions of millions of users that are logging onto their phones each day, every second, making billions of interactions with user interface, having their own experiences and making impressions about a game. And this is the point when user researchers are getting onto the field. Me, as a user researcher on one such a game, have a primary duty to understand this behavior of users who play the game. It means like, what do the users like? What do they don't like? or something completely different, like if new users are onboarding smoothly onto the game, and some more painful questions such as why the users are leaving the game, or even why are they coming back to our game. I didn't get into user research. I think I have always been there. It all started in my childhood when I was collecting personality quizzes from a local newspaper, and then like fast forward, I was getting a degree in a psychology in university. Most of user researchers actually in Nordius have a degree in psychology, but I wouldn't say this is something that is necessary to get into the user research field. I was first tempering my research skills at market research agencies, which gave me a good baseline of understanding business and different kind of industries such as FMCG, telco or retail. Other things that helped me to get specifically into user researcher role in Nordius was my love for a football. It started with a love for a Serie A, for the Italian league. Um, I remember I had a poster of Alessandro Nesta behind my bed. And the other thing that also helped me is that I played a lot of PC games and I still have dozens of CDs at my home. Top 11 is split into smaller teams where different roles such as product managers, developers or designers are working together on solving some business case. So user researchers are part of these smaller teams. It usually starts with product manager talking to user researcher and aligning about what kind of insights about the users do we need for a specific business puzzle that we are solving. So after this alignment, UI artists and UX designers help us build the mockups of the game. This is like the demo version that we are showing on testing to game players. When we are testing something new, we need a lot of assistance from our fellow warriors from community and support team, which help us prevent leak of new information among the population of gamers. We influence the product in every stage of its life cycle. For example, when we are building a new game, user researchers help with market analysis, with understanding this competitive landscape and finding out what is this typical user persona, the typical gamer that we are building the game for. When you have like very well established product on the market, such as Top 11, it means that you have full hands. We are either helping with product feature development, such as improving the existing battle pass system, or doing some usability testing to check if there are some disruptions between the user interface and the gamer, or we are doing something completely out of the box with helping marketing team exploring the brand strength of users and non-users. Gaming is a hot field, especially the mobile category which boomed in the recent years. It means like people are having their cell phones with them non-stop and mobile developers are competing for these small pieces of free time that people have. So the product develops quickly and user researchers are following and adapting to it. Specifically, in a day of user researcher, it means that one day you start a project, tomorrow the project can be discarded, or you start a project and tomorrow you just deliver the report. We have to be very, very agile. You know, if there's something like in IT industry as a full stack developer, there's also something like a full stack user researcher. And it means that it's some person who knows both quantitative and qualitative methodologies. For example, can run surveys, do interviews, etc. But this is not the end of the story. 
The full stack user researcher also understands market trends, gaming trends, understands some game design principles, and generally the business perspective of all these things. We also help each other grow. For example, Stefan, our team member, was mainly a qualitative researcher before joining Nordius, and me, I was more quantitative researcher. But nowadays, both of us are fluent in both methodologies. We have the same challenges as any other industry. On a high level, it means that you need to bring something new to recognize the right opportunity and to help your team become a pioneer on a more everyday level. The biggest challenge for us in user research team is to reach out to the right audience for your research. For example, it is very, very easy to find a soccer fan in the United Kingdom. But try to find a soccer fan in the United States who also likes soccer manager or manager games as well and who plays mobile games at least three hours a week. Sometimes it's a mission impossible. If you're starting a career in user research, read everything. Keep your interest in things you do not necessarily like, but other people gravitate toward it. It will help you understand users. Stay curious and inform yourself about games by playing them. It's not enough just to read about the games. You need to play them because you get very precious experience that you cannot find in textbooks.